Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful flaming seed beads earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of the tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. I'm also using really simple stuff. Only 11 ounce seed beads. You could use 10 ounce if you want and that's it. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. That is why it's a good idea to hit the bell. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links to amazon where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the material okay guys so what i'm using for this video are five colors of 11 ounce seed beads and here you could use 10 ounce seed beads if you want and here i use ear wires this is nemo beading thread this is nylon thread that is 0.2 millimeters thick uh, and this is size D if you buy it from Nemo. And here I use size 10 beading needle and an arm span of thread on it. This is scissors and flat note pliers. Down there in description I have Amazon links on where you could buy all of those supplies or similar supplies to those. Okay, and now I'm going to start with an arm span of thread. Okay, and in my first step I'm going to take 24 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have 24 beads, 6 times 4, it's 24, as you may see. And now I'm going to slide all of those beads down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going with this tail thread twice through the loop I've made twice you see and then I pull okay make sure you're between those two bits where you started your knot from and then in order to be sure that everything is nice tight and secure I will make one more knot here and pull okay now I have those 24 bits and I'll go through some beads in this direction and pull okay then in my next row guys I'm going to start adding of the colored beads okay first I will take two yellow beads and as I'm exiting from this black bead I'm going back in circle through the same bead okay and now I have this then I'm going through the following two beads like this and after the yellow bead it's come the orange bead and I'm taking two light orange beads going back in circle through this bead and if you can in one movement go through the next two black beads and in this way you save time okay then I need dark orange bead and I'm going back through it and through the following two beads and pulling. Then I need red. Okay, and I'm going back through this red and through the following two black beads, through this black and through the following two black, sorry. Then I will start the other way around. After the red, I will take dark orange beads, go back, then light orange beads, then yellow beads.
And from here on, guys, I'm going to repeat the same process from here. Uh, light orange, dark orange, red. After the red, I have dark orange, light orange, and here comes the yellow, okay? And I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and I'm here at my final step where I add the last light orange beads that are exactly next to the yellow, okay? Now I will go through this yellow like this and I will add a an yellow and a light orange and I will go back through this one here. Okay, this is what I'm adding, a yellow and a light orange. Then I'm going through this light orange and I'm adding those two colors that are coming up a light orange and a dark orange, okay? This is what I add here and I pull, okay? Then I'm exiting out in at the outside from my next bead, which is dark orange, okay? And then I will take a dark orange and a green, and a red, sorry, and I'm going through this red one here. I'm taking exactly the same beads that are coming on my way, okay? Now I'm going through this red one here, through this red one here, and I'm taking one red and one dark orange, and I'm going here through this dark orange bead and pull, then through the following dark orange, and guess what? Dark orange and light orange color going through it. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last two colors that are a light orange and a yellow. And then what I want to do is exit out of these two yellows, my neighbor yellows. And I will continue this work. I will take a yellow and a light orange like this. And I will go back through these two beads. Okay, and pull. Then I'm going through these two light orange beads. And I will take the same colors, a, a light orange and a dark orange. And I'm going through these two beads in this direction. Okay. Then go through these two beads. Okay. The next two beads that are dark orange. And take a dark orange and a red one. And go back through these two beads and pull. Now go through these two reds here in this direction. And until the end of this row, guys, just repeat a red and a dark orange, a dark orange and a light orange and if you forgot how I'm doing this just rewind the video and see those three first steps and repeat them here following the color pattern and it will be okay. See you in a while. Okay guys and I'm here where I'm adding my last two colors. Okay like this and now I will go again but this time through three beads in this direction to the outside of my work. And now I will add three 
yellow beads and I will go here through these two yellows like this and pull now I will go through these two orange beads in this direction okay and I will take three light orange beads you see and I'm going through these two light orange beads in this direction pulling and then I'm going up through these two dark orange beads here I need three dark orange beads and I'm going in this direction through two beads. You could go through one bead in this direction, but I feel it's more, more stable to go through two beads. Then I'm going through these two red ones. Okay, pull tight. Then I need three reds. Okay, go through two in this direction. Then through two beads in this direction. Okay, now you need the dark orange beads. And guys, I will continue this. I think it's really easy. Only add three beads of the color that is following and go around your work like this. And uh, you need to pause this video and meet me here. I will uh, come back in a while. I will finish this row off camera and I will come back in a while. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two my last three beads sorry from this row and now what I want to do is go in this direction and here I want to add just one black bead like this okay just one then what I do is that I go here through this yellow I will take one black bead and I will go through this bead that's the opposite of the one that, that I'm exiting out of and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to okay and when I pull I have this okay then I need one more black bead and I'm going here through this orange in this direction okay I have this and now guys I need one black bead and as I'm exiting from this orange I will go through the opposite orange and I will go in the same direction where my thread is pointing to this time to the center of my work okay in this way when I pull it goes in the center okay then I'm going in this orange and I need to take one more dark bead, black bead and I'm going here to the center of my work to attach it then I go through this orange and as I'm exiting to the outside edge of my work I will take one more black bead and I will go through the opposite dark orange bead and when I pull I have the familiar thing okay then I'm taking one more black bead here go to the center of my work okay now I'm going to take one black bead and go to the through the opposite bead and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to and I will go to the center 
I'm alternating them. In one case, I go to the center and in the other case, I'm going to the outside. In this way, I'm making two rows in one. Okay, now I'm going to this red, but I need to reposition my thread in order to add this bead in the center of my orange loop of beads, okay? That is why I'm taking one black bead and I'm going through this orange here, okay? Now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind this video and repeat this from here and I'll meet you here in a while. Okay guys, and I work the same way that I showed you. I hope you pause this video and you could catch up with me. If not, just rewind it and continue with this process. Okay, and now guys, what I want to do is to make this final step. I'm going here at the edge through this yellow bead. And what I want to add are three black beads like this. Skip the one here at the top, the yellow at the top and pull. Now this is what I have. Then I'm going through the black and through the next light orange bead. And I'm taking three black beads, okay, like this. And I'm going through, skipping the middle orange one and going through the following orange. Then I'm going through the black and through the next dark orange bead. Okay, and now take three black beads and go through the orange through the black and if you can through the following red in one movement and pull gently. Okay guys, and now continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you how to attach your ear wire. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm taking my last three beads from this row and I'm going through the next three beads like this. Then here I want to show you how to attach my ear wire and in order to do this I want to exit out of this yellow bead. That is where I prefer to attach my ear wire. Okay, and now I'll take my ear wire and I want to attach it by taking one black bead, going through it, slide it down and take one more black bead and I'm going back in circle through these beads here. And when I pull, you see I have this. Okay guys, and now I'm going to reinforce this joint here. Okay, and here I want to make a knot and cut my thread. And I'm making a knot by making here a loop and going through this loop once and then a second time and I pull then I'm going through the following seed bead pull and now guys I'm going to cut my thread and now my earring is ready Okay guys, and now my flaming seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.